Hello everyone. Welcome to My Immigration Story. I am your host, Tim Green. Today we have with us Nina Pimenta. Nina, how Hi, are you? Hi Tim, I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, Nina, what brought you to America? Well, uh, I came because my ex-husband. Okay. Today is ex-husband. Okay. Yes. Um, Do you think that growing up in Brazil kind of influenced your designer? I don't think I had mentioned that earlier, but your designer mm -hmm. um, yeah. and a stylist. Yes. Do you think that growing up in Brazil had influenced your career today? Definitely. Definitely. My country is full of energy and creativity. So that definitely influenced my, my story today. Uh, actually, I learned how to do my job with my grandmother. She already passed away, unfortunately, but everything I am today, uh, I know today, uh, she's in my big inspiration for sure. Was she a seamstress as well? And yeah, yeah, she was. She was a seamstress. Okay. Yes. Um, do you think, you know, where did you study? I studied fashion. Okay. I'm a fashion designer and a stylist. I studied at um, MIP uh, in Portugal. It's a fashion institute, um, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I moved back. I lived in, just a little bit, sorry about the confusion. I lived in Portugal for 15 years and then I moved to Brazil uh, in 2016. And then I stayed there for a while. I met my ex-husband who lived here. We date for three years and then we decide to get married and then move here. But, um, and I studied fashion in Portugal, so that's why okay. I, I'm trying to explain that. Um, I studied fashion design, I'm a fashion designer, and I have um, my after graduation, I don't know how to say that in English. It's um, personalized stylist, business of fashion, and fabric technology. That's my upgrade. Okay, where was your first job uh, when you graduated from uh, the MIT? Or I'm sorry, MIP. MIP. Um, well, my first job in fashion was in Portugal at this um, high couture uh, studio, studio in Lisbon. Uh, and in with the same at the same time, I also work with the, a friend. Today is a big um, my best friend. There is Rosa. She also is a great symmetry in Portugal. Coming to the U.S., was there any culture shock at all? Well, it's I'm used to live out of my country, mm -hmm. so it's um, it's always a challenge. Always a challenge. It's different culture. For me, it was um, was difficult, but not that difficult because I speak English. I speak English before I came here. It's not perfect. Sorry about that. Uh, but it's, I think it's the culture is always a little bit different from what I come from. Um, but it's fine. I love living here. Mm -hmm. It was, um, was a great change, but also amazing change. Okay. Where can people find some of the pieces that you've made today? Well, I live in Hingham. I, since I moved to US, I live in the same town. Hingham and I opened my own business at the same place as well. So I'm downtown Hingham. Okay. Okay. Do you have a favorite piece that you've made? Oh, I have a lot of favorite pieces. I'm sure, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can tell you right now, I designed this collection for Boston Fashion Week uh, last year. And I have this amazing friend who helped me. Her name is Yvonne. And she's a great seamstress and a great friend. And we have a lot of uh, great outfits together. Uh, she helped me a lot. She's a very creative as well. And I designed this uh, butterfly dress. She want to kill me for sure. Yes. <laughs> but I know she have a lot of fun creating that dress with me. It was an amazing piece. It was very hard to build, but I'm very proud of. I, working in a partnership is, I can't imagine, that's never easy. No, no. it's not. It's Did, not. Do you guys work together on most pieces? or? Yeah, uh, the whole collection last year was, uh, uh, she helped me to, to build that collection. To build it? Okay. Yes, yes, she's amazing. Okay, yes. that's awesome. 
it's nice having somebody to you, know, you work well with. Oh, definitely, definitely. And it's, like, it's great when you find someone who truly understand your designs. Mm -hmm. It's not about um, know how sewing a piece. It's about to understand the designer. And she is, was a great part for, from, from my collection, definitely. And where did you guys meet again? I'm sorry. Where... Uh, we met in, so when I came to US, mm -hmm. uh, one of my, uh, my only first and unique job, <laughs> like outside of my business, was at, um, a cleaner, cleaners, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Inside those cleaners, they have this, I was a tailor mm -hmm. there. And she worked um, at the same company, but different stores. Okay. So that's why we met. Okay. And That's yes. great to, mm -hmm. to be able to you know, keep going up the ranks a little bit together. Yes, she was there and now she has her own studio in Hengen oh, as she well. does, she also has yeah, one too. Yeah, she does. Wow. And she, she, she's keep going. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, is there any favorite foods that you miss being in? Obviously, you can. I do like the food. <laughs> so is there any food that you miss? Obviously, you know, in being from Brazil, obviously having that great culture. Well, not specifically, mm -hmm. but I miss my mom's food oh, when right. she cooks. Yes, right. I miss uh, her food. Uh, it's something. It's it's very funny because here uh, around. Um, Boston, you have a lot of great Brazilian restaurants, mm. so it's hard you miss something you already have, like it's more easy right. uh, for you, like go out and eat something uh, from, from your own country. Even the stores, you can go there and just buy something you miss and just make at home. Pretty easy to find. Yes, it yeah, is. Good and Brazilian I food. just, as I say, I, I miss my, my mom too. Do you have any favorite Brazilian restaurants in the area? In the area, well, have this uh, little store. It's not like a large restaurant. It's, um, I think it's the grill. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. But it's a new, uh, it's kind of new restaurant in Weymouth. Okay. And uh, it's like they have a butcher store, a supermarket, baker, and the restaurant. So okay. the food, it's amazing. It it's is. like very simple, yep. but it's very well done. It's a Main Street Waymont. Main, I'm Main Street Waymont. Yes. Okay. I'll right, we'll have to look it up. It's really good. Um, were there any major cultural differences that you noticed, like coming from the U.S. to Brazil you know, between the two, or? I think yes. We are more like close one to another. Mm -hmm. I have great connection with my customers and uh, my my friends. But in Brazil, you normally just knock the door and you go visit all the time. Uh -huh. you, you, not, you don't do this here. Right. So that's the only thing I miss, like be more free to, you know, just, just go that and open visit. Door yeah. Policy, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, I think that's the mo that was the, the big difference. Big difference. Yeah. But when you come to the, the country, it's not yours. You're leaving a country, it's not yours. You're supposed like respect the rules, mm -hmm. yeah, but you also can miss. It's something that's uh, make you close to others, right? If you're a neighbor, you know what I mean? Right. Like You'd you just go there, right in. Right. you have some sugar. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, don't find that it's that way as much as in the U.S.? No, 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 no. no. It's a, a little bit different. Did you have any difficulties kind of assimilating to that culture? In the U.S. or no, no, um, no, no, no. Okay, it was pretty easy. Oh yes, yeah. uh, the place I live, uh, my neighbors, my customers are amazing. That's great. No difficulties at great. all. That's great. Is there any message that you may have for someone trying to immigrate into the U.S. Probably whether it's from Brazil or maybe another country, um, and maybe about maybe more towards your journey. Well, message, do you like to speak, I speak this in English or in Portuguese, how do you prefer that? <laughs> if you'd like to say something in Portuguese, Phil, that's okay, absolutely fine. Okay, I will say fine. something in English and then okay, I yeah, speak in Portuguese. Okay, yeah, both is fine. All right. <laughs> well, if you're coming um, to US or any other country first, speak their language. Respect the, their language, first of all, it's, I think is the best tip I can give it give it to you and respect the place you live the culture 
everything and they will respect you. Sometimes I can hear like some people complaining about uh, being not well received in some places and just because they don't speak English or they have a lot of difficulties to communicate. Um, so I just, I think I noticed that's the missing um, language connection. So that's, I think that's my big tip. That's your big tip. Yes. This is speak the language. Speak the language, of, definitely. Okay. That definitely yes. helps to assimilate yourself into the culture. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Do you find you ever find yourself homesick and missing home and Oh definitely. You know, yeah. Definitely. It's very hard when you live far away from your home. And I'm here, I live in US alone. Like I don't have any family here. The my family is my great friends. So that's that I can choose, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, I miss my family. That's a hard part to live far away from home. But thank God to the um, the, how to say the connection like a phone you have whatsapp you can call video for free mm -hmm. and uh, you have so many ways to connect with your family more easy than was I don't know 20 years ago when I lived in Portugal and you have to call like you know the phone call you just put the card it was so expensive mm -hmm. and that's was hard you you write letters I, I wrote a lot of letters to mm -hmm. my family so but now it's like every day when I want to call them or I, I miss them very much. So I can call easily, but I miss the hug. Sure. <laughs> I miss to, you know, be part of my nephew's life, my sister's. So that's really hard when you sure. live far away. But the price you pay when you decide to be far away from home. Right. And really taking a chance. Definitely. Yeah, definitely it is. Have you noticed anything, any major differences in the culture between, you know, you've lived in, you said Portugal and yes. Brazil, mm -hmm. any major differences in culture or? Portugal from Brazil, um, yes, I think um, we speak same language, mm -hmm. <laughs> but with different accents. Mm -hmm. um, but Portugal is a beautiful country. I was very blessed to live there for 15 years and I have amazing friends. Uh, is, Do you ever go back? Or? I'm sorry? Do you ever go back? Uh, to Portugal? Mm. No, no. No. After I moved to Brazil, I met my ex and I moved here. Okay. So I have plans to visit my friends there. Of course. But yes, it's, it's a lot of difference. Even like if I can tell you mm -hmm. like Portugal, Brazil and US, they are all very different. Mm -hmm. The culture is very Even different. Even though the language is the same. And yes, yeah. yes, if it's the language the same. I think that's what's the, it's the beauty from, to my work mm -hmm. is everywhere I go, I feel inspired. Right. Doesn't matter where I am, right. I feel inspired. Like right. I was walking here in the street to just see the buildings or it, everything is an inspiration. So mm -hmm. I feel very blessed to have be uh, able to live in Portugal or Brazil or mm -hmm. here now in the US. Was there anything you'd like to say in your native language of Portuguese um, to maybe some of the immigrants watching? Oh, yes, definitely. Bom, pessoal, é, é muito difícil ser imigrante. Eu acho que vocês que vivem isso é, na pele comigo, ou você tem algum familiar, algum amigo que sonha em ser, vir para cá, para os Estados Unidos, ou ir para outro país, é importante sempre procurar falar a língua para que Vocês não passem tantas, para que, não só vocês, né? nós não passamos tantas dificuldades uh, aonde vocês decidirem morar. Respeitar sempre né, a cultura e trabalhar duro, que não importa o tamanho do sonho que você tenha, não importa a dificuldade, não importa de onde você vem. Né? Eu acredito que o sonho da gente é muito pequeno perto daquilo que Deus pode fazer na vida de cada um de vocês. E, cada um de cada um de nós, né? Nós, nós, nós somos, temos sonhos muito pequenos perto daquilo que Deus pode nos dar. O importante é sempre dar o primeiro passo, sempre correr atrás, trabalhar muito e trabalhar com honestidade, trabalhar com o coração, respeitando sempre aqueles que nos recebem de braços abertos, como esse país me recebeu de braços abertos. E eu desejo que, se você tem esse sonho de vir para cá ou já está aqui, que você se sinta abençoado, né? abençoado mesmo. 
é, em tudo aquilo que você fizer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I've been your host, Tim Green. Thank you so much for watching my immigration story. And thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me.